This is FX8, 8350 uh, 8-core processor. On the box it actually says uh, just FX8 core, but there are different names for it. I'm not even actually sure if uh, they are same or not. You can see in here, you know, it's, uh, okay, it's focused now. In here it says FX8 8350, but uh, some just refer it to as FX8350, so I'm not sure. 4 gigahertz, AMD, 125 watts. Not sure if that's correct. Uh, my current CPU was supposed to take also 125 watts, but it actually takes only about 60. So uh, I've actually opened it already, so the unboxing will be easier. And the CPU itself is on the side. That's the manual. I don't think I even need this. And that's the CPU. So tiny and so powerful. And the heat sink, uh, I'm not going to use the heat sink because uh, I have a custom one. However, I don't have the thermal base, so I might have to take some of it off from here. I have currently 4 core uh, 3.6 kilohertz. Uh, Phenom 2 Black Edition and it performs uh, pretty well but I thought it's time to go with 8 cores so I'm going to just uh, fit it in there and see how it's going to work Right, I have installed the CPU I had some uh, slight, uh, let's say, uh, box with it in Windows 7 but that's uh, because of Windows 7 or in general Windows, it's not just 7, it's also Vista and 8 and almost every Windows. But as you can see, it uses all the 8 cores. So uh, I don't know about the people who say that Windows 7 doesn't use 8 cores. Probably they're just some uh, Intel fanboys who are just jealous of uh, AMD. I don't know where these rumors come from that uh, Windows 7 uses only 4. You can see all the 8 cores are listed and all of them have the usage. And I have also tested in the applications and it does go all the way to 100% sometimes, all the CPU usages, so uh, I really don't know where these idiots are taking it from that uh, Windows 7 doesn't use 8 cores, because it clearly does. They just uh, talk some nonsense, but anyway, the bug I had is um, Windows 7 didn't show update cores, and maybe that's where the rumors are coming from, maybe they're just too stupid to enable it. But the thing is, this is uh, msconfig, you can just uh, click on start and type in msconfig and just run this. Uh, what I had is in here, in boot, and this was selected, number of processors. And I previously had 4 core CPU, so it was stuck on 4 cores. No matter what I did, it's just uh, loaded 4 cores instead of 8. So I just unchecked this, rebooted the computer, and it's fine, all 8 cores are showing up. And actually it's been like uh, two or three days already, I just haven't uh, rendered the video. I don't know why this is wrong. Okay, that's the real clock now, as you can see in here. And I'm not sure about this uh, wattage in here. However, it never goes over 99 watts, so uh, I don't think that's the real reading. That's the motherboard software in here. But I have to say that performance is amazing. It's really amazing performance. And to all of you uh, Intel fanboys who say that the i7 is like superb and it's like a lot better than this processor, well, I strongly disagree. And I'll show you why. This is a uh, Elcomsoft Wireless Security Auditor, EVSA for uh, short if you wish. This is a password cracking tool that puts absolute load on a CPU or the graphics card. So. Uh, I will show you something. This is a WPA uh, handshake. I'm not going to explain this, that's not about that, the video. But if I like start the mask attack, that's just a brute force attack. Uh, here you can see the speed. Well, it is a bit slower because the CPU is under use. All of these programs, they uh, slow down the CPU. But as you can see, it's under maximum load in here. Everything is uh, almost 100 and this is uh, 99 watts again this is slower because uh, I'm running so many applications including the screen recorder 
and that does slow it down a lot. I would get about uh, 7000 or a little bit over if I would close everything. But I will pause it right now. I don't need to do that. And I was testing it just a few minutes ago without actually uh, running the screen recorder and this. And I was able to get uh, 6750 average after a few minutes of running it. Now, comparison to i5, overclocked i5, my friend ran the test and he got only 7070, which is not even 1%. This is, uh, the difference is so small, so uh, I don't really see this uh, i7 being better than this one. I'm not sure which model of i7 he has, but he has one of the best ones. And I think he said he has it uh, clocked to 5.2 GHz. Uh, I'm not sure, I will update the description about this, uh, but um, definitely this is not a significant change at all. And mine is not even overclocked. I mean, by default it runs on uh, 4.1 GHz, I don't know why it should be 4. I haven't changed any clock or anything. And sometimes it goes down, I think it's just a false reading, not sure about it. Uh, or maybe it's some power saving thing, there we go. That's the default clock it's running on. I haven't changed it in BIOS, I haven't changed it in here, so uh, it's still default. And now imagine if I will overclock mine. I actually bought the uh, H100 liquid cooling, so that's why the temperature are quite low. I think this is also a false reading in here. I think the graphics cards are heating the heating the sensor up and just giving false reading. I just have to put something between the graphics card and the CPU and see if it goes down. I think that's the real temperature. And under load, it never goes over uh, 40 anyway, so. Well, it's not that significant for H100, but it's quite okay. And I will show that in the next video, the H100 mod, what I made. Actually, it took me over three hours to fit all that in there, but it's awesome. But, yeah, anyway, this uh, CPU, it's amazing, I'd say. And considering it costs about uh, three to four times uh, less than i7, so uh, I say go with this processor. I don't see any reason why you should go with the uh, Intel processor and just uh, waste your money. The percentage uh, you gain from the Intel, it's just, uh, it's not, it's nothing, I mean. I said the comparison, my friend got uh, 7070. Again, I don't know exactly the model, but he has one of the best i7s and uh, also I don't know how many applications he, he was using because uh, it's significant, the change. If I will close everything down and just leave this running and set the priority in the task manager on high, I'm sure I will get better speeds than he actually got. So uh, I think that this CPU is actually better than the Intel. Maybe in games it's like a different performance, but the raw power, I mean 8 cores, there is no way that a 4 core processor can beat 8 cores, it's just not going to happen. I already knew that, but everyone is arguing and saying that no, no, i7 is always better, but well, here are the test results and you can't deny this. The raw power of uh, FX8350 is definitely better than i5. And again, I will post uh, detailed information in the description so you can read it from there which CPU uh, my friend had and which clock he had. And also maybe I'm going to run another test with absolutely no applications running, so uh, again, I will update the information in the description, so uh, check in there and check back later if I haven't updated it yet, so uh, you will find out exactly which one is better, but uh, I will go with this. But anyway, I like the CPU, I'm quite good with it, runs all the games perfectly, with H100 it doesn't overheat or anything, so uh, I'm really happy with it. I strongly recommend this CPU.